this week I'm going to show you how I built an insect hotel out of offcuts, but also how you can make one out of an old drawer as featured this morning on Love Your Weekend with Alan Titchmarsh. So keep on watching. First of all, I'll leave a blog post below if there's anything that's not clear here, including some free plans and a cutting list for a non-draw version that I'll show you shortly as well. But with it being a draw, I started off with a rectangular box shape, which already had a backing, so this was perfect. Now the key part of this project, because I wanted to use every bit of it, was when I cut it up, I needed to make sure the excess pieces were long enough to slot in and screw as shelving because I wanted to give it a few different compartments. That way I'd be able to attract a variety of different species into a garden. So the first cut that I did, that will be the roof. And I wanted to give it a sloping one so any rain would drip off. For the first chunky bits, I used my compact saw, but for the thin base, I turned to a hand saw because it was quieter for people filming in the background. So now I've cut it up, I've got three spare sides that I can use. The first end piece had dovetail joins, which I removed again with a handsaw. Then I could clamp, drill and screw it together as my new roof. I also measured and cut another piece to the same internal width and that would be a shelf. I also wanted to give it some B hotel compartments as well from offcuts. So I use that as a shelf depth gauge while screwing the shelf in. And sometimes I use an impact driver for it because it was quicker and repeated for a second shelf. So this is when I got so focused on making it to a time limit I kept forgetting to move the camera. So I'm going to fast forward to the present day in my workshop and show you how I pretty much filled it in. But this is a box that I made, but using one of the many offcuts that I've got. And I nailed a backboard to it as well using panel pins. Again, exactly the same. The shelves were the same height as the offcuts. And I cut up old dowels that I had with a handsaw, an old broom handle that I found, cut up an old cane with some tin snips, but I do recommend it with a jigsaw to prevent any damage. And then I'd stick in the dowels with a glue gun because it's not toxic. And by the time I came to drill them, they wouldn't be spinning like crazy. but the drilling bit was one of my favourite parts and I'd vary from 2mm to 8mm and these will be for solitary bees. And to give it some protection from the weather, I covered the roof with a bit of off-cut felt that I had. You'll find this project is ideal for the daft little bits that you might have left over. And something I really wanted to do on the day but I ran out of time was add some wooden trim around the roof as well to tidy it up. But because this trim was so small, I pre-drilled it before nailing it because I didn't want it to split. Then finally, I started stapling some mesh wire on the upper compartment. Then I bent and folded it and started filling it with loads of dry twigs, branches, leaves. Pine cones are great if you can find some. I didn't have any for this one, but I did for the TV show. And generally stuff for nests and shelter for bugs to hibernate in. And then stapled the last bit down to protect it from birds having a nibble. So don't forget to tag me on Instagram, Facebook and all the rest of it if you do make one. And hopefully I'll catch you next week with another upcycling project on the same set of drawers on the same TV show. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.